It's another Matt Day here with Teacher Jen. Join me for another topic. This time we're talking about the second part of the limit laws in which we are going to talk about the limit of a constant multiple, the limit of a sum and difference, the limit of a product, and the limit of a quotient. Limit of constant multiple for A is any constant and limit of f of x as x approaches C that will be equal to L. Then our limit of a times f of x as x approaches c that's equal to a limit of f of x as x approaches c that will be equal to a times l notice that once we multiply a and f of x and we are having that one in a limit automatically we put our a um, before the limit and then we try to evaluate the limit of a function of f of x and then the limit of a function of f of x as x approaches to c is equal to l based on what we've declared here automatically we are multiplying a and l so basically we're just multiplying the two the a and the l so for example if the limit of f of x is 7 as your x approaches to c and your limit of g of x as x approaches to c is equal to 1 fourth what is the limit of 3 times f of x as x approaches c so the limit of your f of x as your i mean the limit of 3 times f of x as x approaches a c that will be equal to 3 times the limit of your f of x as x approaches c wherein that is declared here as 7 so this is equivalent to 3 times 7 which is equal to 21 so the limit of your 3 times f of x as x approaches c is 21 another example here if limit of f of x as x approaches to c is 7 and then the limit of g of x as x approaches c is one fourth. What is the limit of a times g of x as x approaches c? So the limit of your a times g of x as your x approaches c that will be equivalent to getting your a out. And then we are evaluating our limit of g of x as our x approaches c. So, 8 times the limit of g of x as x approaches c, which is equivalent to 1 fourth, that will be equal to 8 times the numerator here, because this is understood with 8 over 1, 8 times 1, that's 8, 1 times 4, that's 4. And then, 8 over 4 can be uh, simplified into 2, because 8 divided by 4 is Two. So the limit of your a times g of x as x approaches c is 2. The limit of sum and difference here, we have if limit of f of x as your x approaches c is equal to l and the limit of g of x as x approaches c is m, then limit of f of x plus g of x as x approaches c that will be equivalent to the individual limit of your functions and adding them so we have here a limit of f of x as x approaches c plus the limit of your g of x as x approaches c that will be equal to based on the declared value here of your limit of f of x as x approaches c which is l we are literally adding the values of each of the limit here of the function. So we have L plus M. Then on the difference, we have the limit of F of X minus G of X as your X approaches C. That will be equivalent to the limit of each of the function and then subtracting them based on the placement of whatever is first and then the second function. Because that is subtraction, you cannot interchange the two. So we have here limit of f of x as x approaches c. 
minus our limit of g of x as x approaches c. That will be equal to their corresponding values of the limit. For the limit of f of x as x approaches c, we have that as L minus the value of your limit of g of x as x approaches c, which is an m. So here is an example. So if limit of f of x is 7 as x approaches c, and the limit of your g of x as x approaches c is 4, what is the limit of f of x plus g of x as x approaches c? So this is similar, or this can be done by simply separating or breaking the limit there. So we're adding the limit of each of the function. So limit of f of x as x approaches c plus limit of your g of x as x approaches c. Take note, there are numbers that the x values are approaching must be similar to have this uh, law applied. This is now equivalent to the limit of your f of x as x approaches c is 7. So we have it as 7 plus the limit of g of x as x approaches c is 4. So we will be adding the two values so that's equal to 11. So this is now the sum of uh, the limit of this, the, the sum of the two functions. Next we have for the difference here. So we still have the limit of f of x equal to 7 as your x approaches c and limit of g of x as x approaches c is equal to 4. What is the limit of your f of x minus g of x as x approaches c? So based on what we did on the sum, this is similar to that one. So we have to break each of uh, the function's limit, so we will be having limit of your f of x as your x approaches to c. And take note, they must have the same uh, value as to where your x approaches to. And then we have limit of our g of x as x approaches to c. That will be equivalent to the corresponding value of each of the limit of functions. So for here, we have limit of f of x. As x approaches c is 7, so we have 7 here. And then on the second one, we have limit of g of x as x approaches c is 4, so we will be subtracting that by 4. So 7 minus 4, that's equal to 3. This is the answer on the difference, on the limit of the difference of the two functions. Let us now have the limit of a product. So when you say limit of a product, if limit of a function f of x as x approaches to c is L and limit of g of x as x approaches c is M, then the limit of your f of x times g of x as x approaches to c is equivalent to breaking up the limit here of each of the function. So we can multiply limit of f of x as x approaches c times the limit of g of x as x approaches c and that will be equal to the corresponding limit of each of the function being multiplied so we have that as l times m we are to take note that this may be extended to more than two functions so here we've got two functions here we can actually add more on that one because in multiplication we can just do multiply uh, with two or more functions or factors we have also the limit of a quotient, so if limit of f of x is equal to L and limit of g of x as x approaches to c is m, then we have the limit of the quotient of the f of x and the g of x as x approaches c is equal to breaking up the, the two functions into limits, so we have limit of f of x as x approaches c over the limit of g of x as x approaches c. Take note. That should be the correct um, part or correct position of each of the functions. So if your f of x is at the top, then it should be at the top also. Once we try to break it into limit, and this is now equivalent to the limit of each function declared. So we have limit of f of x as x approaches c. That will be uh, L, so we have also the limit of G of X as X approaches C is M, so final answer is 
L over M, where M must not be equal to zero because this will make it an undefined. So let's go for an example. If L, if limit of F of X as X approach C is seven and the limit of G of X as X approaches C is four, what is the limit of F of X times G of X as your X approaches C? So again, we try to break it into limit. So we've got limit of our f of x as x approaches c times our limit of limit of g of x as x approaches c in which we have the different values here of the limit of f of x as x approaches c as 7 and then g of x here, the limit of that one is 4, multiplying the result that will be equal to 28. So the limit of the a product of your f of x and g of x is 28. So let's go for the quotient. So if limit of f of x as x approaches c is 8 and the limit of the g of x as x approaches c is 4, what is the limit of the quotient of the function f of x and g of x as x approaches c. So again, we can try to break that into limit. So limit of f of x as your x approaches c over the limit of your g of x as your x approaches c. Take note of the position. It should be followed here. Then that should be equal to the limit of your f of x, that's 8. And then the limit of your g of x as x approaches c is 4. Simplifying that one, that is equal to 2. So those are the different laws under um, multiples. And then we've got the sum, difference, quotient, and product. So I hope you learned something on that one. Again, be familiar with the different laws so that you will be guided in answering and evaluating the different limits pro limit problems.